Hello students. Today we are going to learn methodical counting. Can you all see the slide clearly? Okay. So shall we start? Children, can you see some birds on the slide? Can you count them? 1 and 2, isn't it? In today's class, we will cover numbers and counting. some methods or ways to count correctly and counting ahead from any number other than 1 so let's start can you see a picture on the screen then simply looking at it how many fingers 1 and 2 in the second picture 1 2 3 and 4 In this picture, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And in this, one, two, three. Let's check whether we are right. Two, four, seven, and three. Yay! We are right. Okay now let's see what do we mean by counting correctly When you count each object must be counted only once No object should be counted more than once And also you should not miss any object If you count one object more than once or miss any object it is a counting mistake and then we'll get a wrong answer let's take an example children can you see the smiley faces on the left hand side of the slide the correct way to count them is one by one such that every object gets touched or counted only once notice the arrows we will go over the dotted path and count the smileys one by one This is the correct way because we counted each and every smiley only once. Now look at the smileys on the right hand side. Notice the dotted path. Someone who is going to make mistake and going to count wrong will follow the dotted path. Can you see that one smiley got counted more than once? And so will get a wrong answer which is 6 but the correct answer is 5 right so children there are many ways to count correctly let us learn what are the different ways or methods to count correctly first speaking out loud while counting second touching and counting each object third moving and counting the object fourth those who like drawing they can even draw and count and the fifth we should always repeat once again to check whether our answer is correct let's say the numbers loudly which you can see on the screen 1 2 3 4 and 5 let's try the second method of counting that is touching and counting each object children can you touch all the legs of your desk and count how many legs each desk has 1 2 3 and 4 Can you touch and count the number of buttons on your shirt? You need not look at the buttons on your shirt. You can look at the screen or board, but still while you touch and feel them, you can count. So children, you all are very smart. You can you can count even without seeing the objects. Now You try this trick when you go home and before you go to the bed 
when there is no light in the room try counting because you all are smart you can count without even seeing 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 This is the next method moving and counting the computer followed these dotted lines and moved some objects there were total 6 objects so the computer moved and then it counted now let's see the fourth method that is drawing the objects and counting let's learn how to draw objects and count look at the objects here we will draw them and count as we draw wow there is a page just like your notebook page we'll start drawing 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so we drew and we counted let's see the last method now that is repeat count again and check you can count objects using any method you know and then count again one by one shall we start follow the arrow 1 2 3 4 5 and then repeat once again 1 2 3 4 5 yes so we are correct let's have an activity now children take out your pencil box and keep it on your desk line up all the objects that you have count them to check how many objects do you have count them again and check Do you get the same number as the first time? Yes, so you are correct. Now look at the desk behind you. Can you count how many object your friend has in the pencil box? Recheck again by counting it once again and check whether you had counted it right for the first time. So what did we learn? There are different counting methods. First, speaking out aloud while counting. Second, touching and counting each object. Third is moving and counting every item. Fourth, drawing the object in the notebook and counting. And fifth is repeating counting once again. to check children but do you feel that any method can be useful anywhere no for example you cannot always move objects and count can you count stars up above by moving <laughs> no children how can we count something that is moving like uh, animals or birds if you have a camera you can click a photo and if you are watching a movie and you want to count something you can pause the movie and then touch and count can you see all pictures on the screen now can you count them 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 children tell me how many of these objects move can you count them my answer is 5 did you get that did you observe children Till now the counting began from 1. Let us now find out if we always need to count from 1 or can we count from a number other than 1. In this slide 
we are going to count from a number other than one. Children, you must have played snakes and ladders with your friends, right? You must have seen dice there, which has dots printed on the surface. Here in this slide, you can see the dice with dots printed on it. So now, we are going to count from the number after the number of dots we see on the dice. So in the first line, we can start counting from number 6 onwards since the dice shows 5 dots on it. On the next line, you can see the dice with 3 dots. So we'll start counting from 4, then 5, 6, 7 and 8. Next, the dice shows 6. So we'll start counting from 7, 8, 9 and 10. And in the last, the dice shows 4 dots on it. So we'll start counting from 5, right? And then 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Let's check whether we are correct yes we are correct so what did we learn we can count from a number other than one when we have already counted some objects and more objects are added to the bunch we need not count from all over again from one we can start counting after the number which we have already counted. Let's say in a car parking, if there are already some cars and some more cars come in, we can count total cars by starting to count from the last count of cars in the parking. So children, do we always count from one? No. When we begin counting, we start from one. Let's say we are given some smileys to count. We count them starting at 1. Let's say we counted 5 smileys in all. And then teacher gives us more smileys to count. Then to count new objects, we don't start from 1. We start after the last number we counted. There were 5 smileys earlier. So now we'll start from 6 onwards. Ok, let's count how many students have first name starting with alphabet A. All students with name that begins with A, please can you stand up? Now let's count them one by one. After we count a student, the student can sit down. What is the final count? So there are so many students whose name begins with A. So students, what did we learn today? Numbers and counting, different methods used to count and counting from a number. Did you enjoy? Bye. See you soon.